So with a series of co-authors, uh, I'm working on several experiments on rainfall insurance in India, an index insurance product. And the goal is to help farmers manage risk uh, due to failed monsoons uh, when making production uh, decisions. And I guess there are two potential ways that insurance could improve farmer outcomes. One is simply consumption smoothing. So if there's a terrible drought, uh, they get a payment, which helps them continue to send their kids to school, uh, buy food staples, uh, repay their debts, etc., so that they can plant again in the subsequent year. But also, uh, by empowering power farmers to manage risk, they may be willing to make uh, riskier decisions that also have uh, higher expected payouts. And so we find just that. So I'll talk about two experiments in this uh, video. The first is a run in Andhra Pradesh with Javi Ginet at the World Bank and James Vickery at uh, the New York Fed. And there we were very interested in studying how this ability to, to manage risk would affect investment decisions. So we identified 1,500 farmers in about 30 villages. And these were villages where rainfall insurance had already been around for four or five years. So everybody knew what the product was. They knew how it worked. They had seen payouts already be made. Uh, so they, they kind of trusted that, that the, the, the product was legitimate. And then we identified 1,500 farmers. Half of them we randomly assigned to receive 10 insurance policies, which would pay uh, up to about $400 at the end of the season if there was a catastrophic drought. The other half, we promised to pay them the expected value of those insurance policies at the end of the, the season. This was to uh, shut down the possibility that uh, the insurance policies were in fact a, a, a transfer of wealth and affected uh, investment decisions simply through that channel, but uh, not necessarily through the risk channel. So what we found, so the most of our farmers are deciding whether to plant subsistence crops uh, such as sorghum or millet or uh, cash crops like cotton and castor. And what we found was that the, the farmers who were insured were about 10% more likely to plant cash crops than farmers that were not given the grant of insurance. So about an, an increase for about 48 to 53 percentage points uh, in planting cash crops. And we see this in the data both in the decision to plant cash crops, but also in the use of various inputs for cash crops, purchasing seeds, fertilizer, uh, and other inputs. And this is a, a, a significant finding, we think, because these, these cash crops are much riskier. They have much higher uh, water requirements than the uh, subsistence crops, but they're also much more lucrative for the farmers because they can sell them on the open market and earn uh, pretty substantial returns. So the experiment, in fact, validated the hypothesis that uh, managing risk can improve uh, the profitability of investment decisions. And so we were delighted to see that. 